Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William have topped a list of Britain's most influential people, but, rather surprisingly, Meghan and Harry failed to make the top 10. While they have been dubbed the royal power couple and tipped to modernize the monarchy, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are known to do things their way, are proving to be less influential than expected. Kate, 37, and Wills, 37, were named as the most socially significant people in Tadler's Social Power Index. In second place were actor Andres Elba and his wife Sabrina Dover, ahead of financier Joseph Getty and his jewelry designer wife Sabine Getty who came in third. And seven-year-old Harper Beckham was another contender to beat Harry and Meghan, placed in fourth place. The Queen's grandson and his American wife were named on the list, but outside the top 10 which are not numbered. Lady Amelia Windsor was also included, as was household names Kate Moss and Sir Mick Jagger. The magazine named the BBC's political editor Laura Kunzberg as Britain's seventh most influential person. Last week it was announced that Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, would split from William and Kate on their charitable work. The new parents, who welcomed baby Archie on May 6, will depart from the Royal Foundation, set up by the princes in 2009. A Buckingham Palace source told Bazaar.com the split will enable the Sussexes to do things exactly how they want. The couple are expected to launch their own foundation which will focus on causes dear to them. Kensington Palace said, these changes are designed to best complement the work and responsibilities of their royal highnesses as they prepare for their future roles, and to better align their charitable activity with their new households. Yesterday, it was revealed Harry and Meghan's refurbishments to their new home, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, cost the taxpayer £2.4 million. The five-bedroom property was rumored to have been fitted with a mother and baby yoga room, which palace sources denied. The revelation exceeded an earlier unofficial estimate that taxpayers would have to pay £1.5 million of the then-forecast total of £3 million. 